Another, another tip on heading, uh, and this is something that's not talked about near enough, I don't feel like, but this the amount of rope that you throw. And uh, of course, <clears throat> um, everybody knows when they run up to the hip and get their horse in the right position that the distance between your, your thumb and forefinger here and uh, the back of the steer's head is the right amount of rope to throw and get tight right here. But what lots and lots of times happen is uh, whether you're, maybe your horse is hanging back on you a little bit or the steers are running off to the right, right fence just a little bit, you'll think that you're getting up in position and being just about where you want to be and that steer moves off to the right on you and then you won't have quite enough rope to get there and uh, you don't really identify that because again not very many people think about that and it'll it'll pull the rope short on you so I think it's really important when you're roping the horns to learn to uh, judge distance just like you would shooting a basketball and looking at the rim and, and understanding how far away that is when you're when you're roping the horns uh, the more and more you rope the dummy the more you will realize that okay right here is a half a coil and I'll, I'll learn to let this coil slide in my hand and by doing that that allows enough rope to get there but also the other side of that is that you see a lot of times when a person's coming onto a steer that he lets go of too much rope and lots lots of times when you let go of a little bit too much rope it'll cause it to, to wave off so I would encourage you when you're roping the horns to practice moving around and uh, ask yourself like okay if I'm standing right here that's 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 not letting the coil slide at all in my left hand that's absolutely no rope uh, maybe back here is about a let, letting about a half a coil slide or back here would be letting a full coil and, uh, and then a, a little tip or my opinion you ropers that are like five and under I, I wouldn't worry about dropping this coil for a while. Um, I, I just feel like so many people try to skip steps or skip too many steps and it's good to, to continually be pushing to get faster and better all the time but go from uh, running to the hip to hustling your horse all the way up there and maybe about a half a coil back learning to let this slide. I mean there's still lots and lots of room for uh, roping faster but yet you continually keep your horse working good by hustling him up there, getting the run out of him, about a half a coil back, learning to let that slide. Um, what's so great about this is you don't have to be so exact with your positioning. You can be hustling up there and be a little bit in between your swing, but yet still rope the horn sharp. But I, I would avoid uh, dropping a coil for a little while for you guys that are like fours and fives. Come on!